Hi all, welcome to another Vox Commando video tutorial. This is actually my first tutorial, so I'll try to be as clear as possible, but I hope you'll bear with me. This is an introduction to using the Vera plugin for Vox Commando. This is a plugin that uh, Vox, for Vox Commando that allows it to communicate with Vera home automation devices, home controllers. Uh, so there's the Vera 3 and the Vera Lite. And the plugin, as far as we know, works pretty well with both of these and any devices that you're controlling with your Vera. So Z-Wave Z devices or Z-Wave if you're American. Vox Commando can change the status of those devices or get status information about those devices via the Vera plugin. And you can also trigger commands within Vox Commando based on the state of your various home automation devices. I should just point out that mostly what I'm doing here is going over a lot of what's covered in the wiki documentation on the plugin Vera page. That includes information on, on how you can enable your plugin, how you can use events. It gives the full list of actions that you can use to build Vera related commands within Vox Commando and how to generate payload XML, as well as how to use maps, which is pretty useful for Vera in particular. Okay, so here I have a Vox Commando. It's uh, Vox Commando 1186. And as always with any plugin, right now I have no plugins installed. In order to enable the Vera plugin, I go to Options to the Plugins tab, and I find the Vera. Check the box, save and close. As always with plugins, I need to restart Vox Commando completely for that plugin to be enabled. So I'll do that now with a full restart. Fully restarted Vox Commando, and now we can see under the plugins menu, Vera is visible and enabled. And the first thing you always do when you install a new plugin is check out its uh, its options and, and, and customize those to your needs. So in this case, it so happens that uh, the plugin already knows the URL for my Vera and the port number. I'll show you here. This is your typical page that those of you who have a Vera device are probably familiar with. Here you can see the IP number. And so you'll note that it's the same as what I have here plus the port. If this information is not within the plugin here, you simply click on the Find Local and uh, it'll, as long as you've got all your network uh, settings enabled properly with Vox Commando uh, for your private network, then it should have no problems finding this and it'll put that in there for you. And then you should um, save options. One thing you might want to do before you save options, it so happens that the, this box is checked here because I've previously tested the plugin, but ordinarily when you first enable it, this is probably not checked. This box you'll want to check if you want Box Commando to be able to pull your Vera device to notice a change in status of your scenes or your devices. So when it, when it does that, it'll generate events, and those events you will see in the history panel of Vox Commando. So you check this box, and you save your options. Other things to take care of here in, in the uh, option settings for the, for the Vera plugin are pretty important. Uh, it's a good idea to generate XML for your Vera devices and your Vera scenes. What that will do uh, is create payload XML. Those of you who use Vox Commando with media like XBMC, etc., will know what payload XML files are, but essentially um, it allows you to create commands where you can uh, call devices by friendly names or access a bunch of devices in one command in a, in a useful manner. So you can generate XML here, and as you can see, it's scanning the data from your Vera and uh, it's making note of the device IDs and whatever you've called them, as well as scenes and making, generating payload XML files for that. As well, you have device map and a scene map. Those of you who are not familiar with maps, this is extremely useful with Vera. So I would suggest that you click update here and this will generate maps that associate the device IDs and scene IDs with the friendly names you've given them on an individual level. And you can use that within a command so that you don't have to try and remember the name of a scene or device or look it up here uh, within Box Commando. It'll give you easier access to those IDs. 
Okay, so your Vera plugin settings are all in order now, and it's time to start building some commands. I'm going to demonstrate a few basic commands to you, I hope, fairly basic. They will be, if you're already familiar with Vox Commando, you might be a little bit confused if you're very new, but I still think it'll be a good learning opportunity. Keep in mind that with Vera, unlike uh, XBMC or one of the media plugins, um, you, the program does not come with a configuration that includes Vox uh, Vera commands already, so you will have to create your commands from scratch or else go to the forum perhaps and grab somebody else's commands and try to adapt them. Obviously you will have different uh, scene IDs and devices and so on, so for, you're pretty much going to have to learn how to create your own commands. So uh, to start building commands, as always, we go into edit and we open our command tree. This is where you can edit the phrases and the macros for existing commands or create your own. So I'm going to create a new group and I'm just going to call it, uh, you know, Vera tutorial and I will create maybe uh, two commands here. Um, in the first command, I'm going to create one command f that I can use to dim any of my three dimmable lights uh, to whatever level, 10, 20 to 100 percent, whatever it is. Um, and rather than creating individual commands for each of those, I'll have one voice command and it will allow me with the help of payload XML to uh, do the same thing for all of those uh, devices. So I'm just going to call it dimmable lights, let's say. And uh, now some people like to start by building their phrases first. Some would prefer to uh, start with the macro that tells Vox Commando what to do. In this case, I'm just going to start uh, with the macro uh, by adding an action as we always do. Since I don't know anything about the Vera plugin I just installed or know the actions, I'm going to use the action selection tree to see what's available for my, for my dim dimmable lights. This is the core actions. Anytime we want to use uh, actions with a plugin, we have to go to the plugin actions. In this particular installation, I only have the Vera plugin installed, and so here I'm just seeing uh, the Vera actions. If I had other plugins installed, they would also be here. Anyhow, so as we can see, in this case, it's pretty easy to find the dim action, which seems like the one we would need for our dim dimmable uh, devices. And lo and behold, this is the action that will set the dim level dim level of a dim bleh, that's a tongue twister set the dim level of a dimmable device <laughs> and that uses the device id as its first parameter and then you can set the level uh, from 0 to 100 so that's the one i'll use and i can simply double click and it'll show up in the first action line here and i still have to fill in my parameters well, because I want this to work with multiple devices, I'm not going to enter a specific ID here, although I could. I'm instead going to call this payload1, and the payload1 will access payloads uh, from the payload XML files that we generated before. And here I'm going to use a payload range uh, of integers, really. Uh, I'm going to maybe not from 1 to 100, but maybe from 10 to 100 seems more likely that I'll use something in that range. Um, and that will be payload 2. So that's just to start with how I'll do this. Um, and then I need to create the phrasing, which will be the how I issue the voice command for this. So as always, we get all of that uh, from this uh, phrase dropdown. Let's start with a phrase. Dimmable lights is not really what I want to say. I want to say something like dim hanging lamp 2 or dim corner lamp 2. X, so I'm going to use dim here, and maybe I want um, an alternative. Maybe I want to also be able to say crank up. So now I have this alias. I have two options. I can say dim or crank up, and then uh, I need to give it the payload from my XML. So we'll be using value a value phrase uh, payload XML, and that's because we have device IDs associated with the names of the devices. That was already created when we generated XML in the settings. Uh, you, you'll find these in the Vera folder of your main uh, Vox Commando directory. So if you look here, you get Vera, you can look in here, and these were all of the payload XMLs that were generated. Uh, you can check them out for yourself and see what's in them. I happen to be interested in just the dimmable devices. This device XMLs would be all of your devices, uh, including the dimmables. But since I only want the dimmables, 
This is what I'll use. You can also create your own or start from these and then adapt them for your own needs. Okay, so I've chosen that and here I'll show you what's in there. I have three dimmable devices, uh, three lamps. I've got the dining room overhead spot and a hanging lamp that's in my living room and a standing lamp that's uh, also in the dining room. If you've seen any of James's <laughs> home automation videos, you've probably seen most of these. Okay, save. So save that and save again. So now this will be my payload one. So now I can say dim hanging lamp, but I still need more here. I need another phrase, two, yeah? And my second payload. For my second payload, I could use a list with just a bunch of numbers, 10, 20, 30, 40, or I can use a payload range. In this case, just I'll use a payload range and I'll make this from 10 to 100 inclusive. That would mean I could theoretically say 93% if I wanted well, I can't say percent yet because I haven't added that, but I could say 10 to 100. Dim hanging lamp to 100. Dim hanging lamp to 84. But let's say I want to say percent, so I'll just add another phrase on the end here, and I'll make this one optional so I don't have to say it necessarily. Percent, optional, okay? So uh, this, and I'll, again, I'll go in here. You see you have payload one and payload two. By that, I mean the device IDs will go here, and the level uh, that I want to dim or crank up my light to is here. Um, I can test that. If you're testing, you can't use uh, the friendly name, hanging lamp or so on, as you would when you're saying the command. You have to use the device ID. So don't try and test here and get confused when it's not working. You'll need to know one of the device IDs to test it and uh, you can then do whatever 30 let's say and save and execute and it should do what you want to do okay if you want to test the voice command which you should really do particularly for these types of commands you need to save your tree first and exit and let it uh, re reload everything it's rebuilding your commands okay and then obviously you want to turn on vox commando and then you can try dim hanging lamp to 80 percent so you can see that that worked. Um, obviously, it's weird to say dim hanging lamp to a brighter level, which is why I said crank up as well. So I could also say crank up hanging lamp to 90%. Okay, so that worked well. And you can see uh, that it's showing all kinds of activities here. All right, so that's the first command. Uh, now I'm going to give you uh, the second another one and then this one uh, I want to show you how you can use events oops I want to put this down here just drag it in and uh, and maps so what I'll do here is I will use a, a motion sensor event or a phrase I'll have the option of using either to trigger a command that turns on my TV light scene. I have a scene at, in my, with my Vera that turns on all the different lights uh, set up perfectly for when we want to watch television. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with this command. So I'm going to call it uh, TV time. <laughs> Let's just say, and uh, this will be triggered either by a phrase TV time or by an event. Now what event do I want to use? I want to use uh, when someone comes into my living room, I happen to have a motion sensor in my living room and I want to use that as a trigger. So uh, how do I do that? I need to trigger the motion sensor so that it shows up here in my history window because when I was in the plugin settings, I selected poll and generate events when I trigger the motion sensor, it should show up here as an event. So let me try and make that happen. I'll probably have to get up to go uh, set off the motion sensor. Um, so you can see here, I'm just showing you, this is the motion sensor I'm going to try and trigger. Uh, it should turn to a red running man uh, if this works as planned. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so that worked, so let's now take a look and see, uh, et voila, indoor motion on. So Vera device 54 
is apparently the motion sensor. I can check that and I'll show you how. You can check in your map editor. This is all of the maps, including the ones that uh, we generated earlier for Vera devices and Vera scenes. And I'll look here for number 54. And as you can see, ID 54 is indeed the motion sensor. So that's good. So uh, Vera device on is the event that it generated when the motion sensor was set off. And I can drag that onto my command which means that I can either say TV time or I can use the motion sensor being triggered to initiate or trigger this command. So I'll go in here now. I still have to make the command. And what I want to do is initiate the uh, TV light scene. So how do I do that? Again, let's go check out the action selection tree. Go to plugins. What do we have? Hey, look. <laughs> Trigger a scene by specifying its ID. Excellent, I'll choose that. All that's required in this case is a scene ID. I don't happen to know the scene ID off the top of my head. How do I find it? I just kind of showed you that, but um, also within your uh, command tree, your logical command builder, your LCB, which is the, your, essentially your macro editor, there is also a button here to open your maps. So you can just go there. Now make sure you choose to look at the right map if you're not seeing what you want because you have a uh, different map selected. I want Vera Scenes and I'm looking for TV lights, uh, which is this one. It happens to be scene number nine. So I could just enter nine or I can grab this uh, icon here and drag it over here. That gives me a nice friendly way of seeing which scene we're talking about. If I just entered in nine here later on, I might not necessarily know what that is, but this is a nice neat way to use maps so that you can find the ID that you want and later on know what exactly you've done. So there you have it. That is um, TV lights and that's really all I have to do. Okay. And then as always, uh, you need to save your command and close it for it to work. Uh, and then if I say uh, TV time, you can't see that, but that uh, changed all of the light statuses in uh, my living room. But you can see that Vera Scene 9 is active, so you can see that that actually worked. Uh, now, if I can try and trigger the motion sensor to see if that will work again, let me try uh, doing that. And first up, I'm going to turn this off so it's not listening, and I'm going to clean this history so you can see, and I'm going to try to... Uh, set off the motion again. Let me make sure that it's uh, green right now. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Bear with me. Okay, so you can see that I set off the motion sensor and that it activated Vera scene. You can't see what's happening, obviously, because you can't see my room, but that's the uh, light. So that is a demonstration of using maps, using payloads, and a triggering a command using an event, in this case a motion sensor. Uh, and I hope that that was relatively instructive and understandable. <laughs> and uh, as always, you can get more help on the forum if that was not clear. Thanks for watching.